everyone, it's Fjordström. Two days ago, Samsung published this press release announcing the Galaxy Watch 4 will be getting Google Assistant because we already knew it was coming, but we didn't know when exactly. But then if you'd scroll down, you'll notice that Google Assistant will be available in 10 markets, including Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Ireland, Japan, Taiwan, Korea, the UK, and the USA. So I was a bit disappointed because I don't live in any of those countries. Still was hopeful, and I looked up uh, Google Assistant here on, my, on the Play Store, on my watch, and it didn't appear. And then last night, I decided to install Google Assistant here on my phone. But then this morning, I noticed that in my Galaxy Watch 4, Google Assistant is now installed as well. So in this video, I'll be showing you the whole setup process of Google Assistant and trying it out for the first time. Okay, so first of all, I'll be opening Google Assistant here on my watch. There we go. Activate Google Assistant on your watch. Get started. And then it was to ask me to open on the phone to activate. So here we go. Yeah. And now it's connecting to my watch. Use your voice to send texts, manage your day, and get quick answers. I'm really looking forward to that. And let's activate. So now it's asking to save my uh, device app info. Turn on this Google Assistant setting to get better suggestions and fast responses from your apps. Now you have the choice by saying no thanks or turn it on. Personally, I'll turn it on now to get full functionalities. Now it's asking to save my web and app activity. And uh, this is exactly what it will do. So it will save the things you do on Google sites, apps, services, and so on. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'll be turning it on now, but I normally turn this off. So I will, I'll probably turn it off later on, but let's just see what happens. Google partners work with your assistant to help you. So that's, uh, that's fine. Next, it's asking to turn on or turn off standby mode, which means that it will always be alert and listen for Hey Google. Now, again, for now, I'll be turning it on, but I usually will turn it off. It also uses more battery, it says, so I will probably turn it off just to save battery as well. So agree to voice match, and here you can give permission to your watch to access your, your calendar, your contacts, your messages, reminders, payments, calling, contacts, and so on. This, I think, is kind of... I'll turn it on now, and uh, I think, I mean, that's kind of the whole point of uh, Google Assistant, in my opinion, so I'll be turning it on. Talk to your assistant with a button, so get right to your Google Assistant uh, by using your watch's home key. So just like Bixby, this will, this here will um, replace Bixby, so that's yeah, good to know. Set things up in your watch's settings or in the Galaxy Wear app on your phone. Okay, got it. And now my assistant is ready. So let's have a look here in my the Wear app, because that's the one they're asking me to go to. So here under advanced features you can find, so double press right now is Google Pay, so I can still pay with my watch. And press and hold instead of waking Bixby, we will now turn on Assistant. So, Assistant. Ooh, okay. So let's try it out now. What's the weather in New York? Right now in New York City, New York, United States, it's 15 degrees and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be partly cloudy, with a forecasted high of 20 and a low of 15. Play Give That Wolf a Banana on Spotify. Sure. Asking Spotify to play Give That Wolf a Banana, Norway. Okay, so that works. That's great. Uh, anything else would be like really more practical stuff, like uh, text my mom, for example. Text mom. Got it. What's the message? Good morning. Sending your message. Now, what I really like about Google Assistant is that it supports multiple languages. So you can speak English and French, for example, and it will automatically detect the correct language and answer in the correct language. Now, in my case, I like having my phone set up in English and my watch as well. I talk to Siri and Google Assistant in English as well. Uh, but when navigating through a foreign country, it's always useful to have that local language so you can just pronounce the street names the way you normally would. Um, so that is very useful in my opinion. So now, for example, if I just suddenly speak Dutch here to my Galaxy Watch, I didn't change any setting, by the way, so I'll just speak Dutch right now. Wat voor weer is het in Amsterdam? Op dit moment is het 18 graden en half bewolkt in Amsterdam. At the same time, I could just now switch back to English and ask the same thing in English. What's the weather in Amsterdam? Right now in Amsterdam, Netherlands, it's 18 degrees and partly cloudy. Okay, 
Yeah, all right. So that's actually really useful, again, especially when navigating or when pronouncing certain words, like Amsterdam, of course, is very easy to pronounce. But if you have a, a street name or a city that has a local pronunciation, then that's where town, I mean, especially towns are dif more difficult to pronounce than or to pronounce it in English way so to be recognized. Uh, so that's really fun about uh, Google Assistant. Set a timer for five minutes. Wake me up in five hours. 7.56 p.m. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Why won't the shrimp share its treasure? Because it's shellfish. Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. <laughs> Alright, now you just noticed it worked, but my watch was already on. So I have to probably still tap my watch first, because if I turn this off, so just put it here, I'll block out the screen. But now if I would say the magic word, hey, it doesn't work, it doesn't respond. But if I tap it and then say the magic word, or turn it on, hey, and then it does work. Now that is something you have to keep in mind, but then again, if you're wearing your watch and you just like flick your wrist, then the screen activates. So let me just try that out instead. Okay, so right now I'm walking around, my screen here is off. Now I'll flick my wrist and ask Google Assistant to add something to my reminders. So let me just do that. Hey Google, add ketchup to my reminders. Alright, so that works. Okay, so even though if it's off it won't react, in real life, you will look at your wrist anyway when you're going to talk to it, so then it will turn on the screen and then Google Assistant will react. So that's okay, that's actually fine. Okay, so that was Google Assistant on the Galaxy Watch 4. I'm really happy that it's here now. Uh, both devices, the Z Flip 3 and the Galaxy Watch 4, have been released nine months ago, so I'm glad it is finally here and we can take advantage of it on our wrist. I've been using my Z Flip 3 for nine months now since release and I still don't have any problems and my Galaxy Watch 4 have been having now for eight months, again no problem and now that Google Assistant is here I'm very happy as well. What do you think of Google Assistant being on the Galaxy Watch 4? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.